Welcome to Coffee with the Supervisor. My special guest today is our Commissioner for the Department of Housing and Human Services. And we're going to talk about one of the human services that we're providing. Um, and that's our recreation center. The town built a number of recreation centers around the town, but none has been built in the last 25, even 30 years. But the first, the first one to come on in, the, in 30 years is the Mariches Community Center, which is right in Santa Mariches on Frowen Road in Santa Mariches next to the high school. Uh, this used to be an old building. It was a Knights of Columbus building, and the town bought the building and six acres next to the building, and we built a wonderful field. This is a, a believe me, a million dollar field, which all the kids, all the sports programs are all run out of. Uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Um, I live in Santa Maria, so I went there to see my grandson play uh, uh, field hockey. It's just absolutely uh, great. Uh, but we also used our parks department and our employees to do most of the renovations to this building. And Allison's with me to tell me exactly what the building's going to be used for. Tell me a little bit about what the uses that we're going to do in that building. Yes. Thank you very much for having me here today. So we're very excited about the building. Uh, we're going to be offering uh, different programs there, but one of the most important programs that we're going to be offering is our senior nutrition program. So what we're going to be doing three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., we're going to be offering a hot meal to our seniors. So, um, But they have to sign up. Yes. Because right now we have no one signed up. Yes, we definitely need people to sign up. How many people do you need to run a nutrition program? Well, currently right now we have two locations. We have the Rose Caracappa building right. up in Mount Sinai, and the other building is our Herkimer building in Mastic Beach. Right. In so, Mastic. In Mastic. Right. So combined between the two of them, we serve approximately a little over 125 meals a day. There, How well, many meals could we serve at the center, at, at the Mariches Community Center? Oh, we would love to have at least 40 to 50 people if we could. Now, um, I'm a senior citizen. I live in Mariches, Santa Mariches, East Mariches, Manorville, yes. Eastport, which is the catchment area for this. That is correct. It's so the southeastern corner of the town. I'm over 60 years old because you've got to be over 60 years correct, old. Correct, yes. I'd love to get a hot meal, a hot lunch three times a week, how do I sign up? What do okay. I have to do? So what you need, what they need to do is they need to call our senior division. The phone number for that is 631-451-9191. And that will be on, should be uh, on the uh, program right beneath. They'll put the number up Perf so people perfect. can call. Yes, so what they need to do is they need to call. They can put their name on their list. Um, we also will offer transportation for a senior if they qualify. That's very important because a lot of seniors have bad eyesight or they need someone to drive them there, but we will provide transportation. We yes. will pick them up if they live in that southeast corner Correct. of the town. So Mariches, Santa Mariches, East Mariches, Eastport, Eastport Manorville, Manorville. Correct. which is a large area. It's an area of a lot of growth in the last 20, 30 years, which is why we, we opened this rec center, um, recreation center. But it's important for the senior nutrition program. Uh, so if someone's looking for a hot meal, they can get it for next to free. We do suggest a $2 donation that for lunch. Correct. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's free. Right. And all of this is provided through the United States Department of Health and Human Services, along with the New York State and the Suffolk County Office of the Aging. Right. Now, we used to have a nutrition program in uh, Santa Maria's. Okay. Okay. And the reason I know that is because I used to be the county legislator, okay. and I was amazed that they didn't have a nutrition program when I got elected. Mm -hmm. And we created a nutrition program um, in 1986, and the Methodist Church ran it. Oh, okay. Okay. And we still have reunions of people from back then, um, and it was a great program. So this is recreating a program that has been around, but we're just relocating the program to specifically serve the southeastern corner of the town to Merchants Community Center. So if you're a senior, and you're over 60, and 
you would like to meet with other seniors, get together, socialize, Correct. We have play activities. cards, have a cup of coffee, yes. get a nice hot meal, call the number. 631-451-9191. That is correct, yes. Call that number and say, I'd like to reserve. And better yet, if you don't drive for some reason or have trouble getting transportation, the town will actually send a senior jitney correct. to pick you up and deliver you to the Merchants Community Center. And the program runs from 9 to 2. And it, it I, sounds like a great program. It is going to be wonderful. I'm very excited. Our department is very excited to get this program launched. So as soon as we get our seniors there, we love to have them. It's a, it's a healthy meal, well balanced. We do a menu directly with the county. Um, and where else would you want to go to go and hang out with your peers and enjoy good company while eating good food at the same time? You know, it sounds like a great program. I know we run other programs there. I know senior clubs in the area yes. meet there, or starting to meet, uh, the, new, the uh, Murchis uh, Community Center. Uh, we cut the ribbon in December, but it's finally all the stuff is finished. Yes. The CO's done, et cetera, uh, certificate of occupancy. So the first day it's going to be in operation officially will be Monday. this Monday. February 4th. So if you're watching this after February 4th, we're open for business. Yes. But make the call, and we have our senior clubs meet there. Yes, we have two and clubs And then in there. the afternoon, weekends and evenings, mm -hmm. we have signed a contract with whom? Uh, with the Mariches Community Center. Right, Kathleen Johnson. Johnson, that's who correct. Who is the executive director, a lovely woman, uh, lives up the block from me, mm -hmm. uh, but has been involved in youth activities forever. Yes. Started this program, uh, was renting of all places uh, over a bar in town, right. and was looking for the right place. Our recreation center is right next to the high school, mm -hmm. which is a perfect fit for Absolutely. her to run all the programs that she's going to run for the teenagers and youth, the youth. in the community from after the seniors leave. That building gets used in the afternoon, evenings, and weekends by the community center which handles all of our youth programs is under yes. contract to the town. That's wonderful. And they do a great job. So this is a center that's going to get a lot of use, but we're particularly emphasizing in recruiting seniors who would like to sign up for a free lunch, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Yes. time to come. What else can you tell me about the center? So with that being said, with that, we also, like you said, we have our two senior clubs, which are meeting on Mondays and Wednesday. The South Haven Club is Monday. On Wednesdays is the St. George Manor Club, and those will also run from 9 to 2 as well. So if anyone's interested in joining a club, they can also come those days as well. That's great. So the good news is we're going to have a community center that's going to serve the southeastern corner of the town. It's going to run a number of youth programs. Yes. It's going to run a number of senior programs. And most importantly, it's going to run a senior nutrition program. We're looking for people to sign up so we can serve you a hot meal. Uh, and if you need transportation, we'll deliver you th there. So again, the number, 631-451-9191. Well, thanks for making us aware of this. And I hope the people in that area of the town take advantage of this. It's a beautiful center. Uh, there's a beautiful sports field behind it. Uh, we are always looking to improve services to our seniors and to our Absolutely. youth. Absolutely. And, Alison, I appreciate you being Thank on you with so me. Much, Thank you so much, Supervisor. I appreciate it. Right. Thank you.